Okay, Robin Stewart is in the house. Uh, <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I, uh, I am I, literally in the house. <laughs> I've been for several months. <laughs> As we all have been, huh? No kidding. Uh, I am. I'm super excited to introduce a new feature of the Practice Expert Experts Collaborative today, and that new feature is uh, what we're calling Practice Expert Profiles. Uh, track experts are uh, obviously the heartbeat uh, and the bloodstream of this community that we're building. And so uh, what better way to kind of expose that heartbeat than to periodically um, profile the experts that we have on our site. And uh, we're gonna do these once a month, uh, perhaps more, if it becomes as popular as I think it will be. Um, but uh, the, uh, the, the point is you're going to have an ability to see and hear the perspectives of um, experts that uh, are people that we have uh, vetted based on their education, their background, and, um, and the value that they bring to the, the, uh, the healthcare community. Uh, and uh, enable you to hear their stories uh, about how they got into uh, their side of the profession, the disciplines that they're in, and what drew them to the practice experts collaborative. So uh, I'm delighted today to start with Robin Stewart. Um, as, as you may know, uh, Robin and I co-founded Mind Body Talent a few years ago uh, as an organization to uh, support the healthcare community through uh, the side that Robin leads, which is executive recruitment. Uh, so she she's the CEO and co-founder and the managing director of uh, recruitment and placement services for Mind Body Talent. And then uh, and then I work on the, the practice optimization side. But uh, I really wanted to bring uh, Robin and her perspective today to uh, the, the work that we do in holistic healthcare and, and understand. Uh, you know what's going on uh, in the field of fields of functional medicine and, and integrative medicine, lifestyle medicine. Uh, just a little, you know, back personal background on that. Uh, Robin has, you know, taught me most of what I know uh, in, in those fields. But I, you know, I, I kind of always had a sense that there was something wrong with conventional uh, medicine, conventional healthcare. Uh, I, I understood that. You know, nutrition, things like nutrition and sleep and exercise and all those things were good ways to build our immune system. But I really didn't have a perspective that there were formal disciplines within the industry uh, that put structure to those things and, and had paths for people to uh, heal and recover from disease and combat, combat uh, complex illnesses. Um, and so uh, Robin introduced me to that, which was you know, the, the foundation of us founding Mind Body Talent to, to bring those things, to provide, be a support system for those markets. And that's what spawned us to create the, the Practice Experts Collaborative. And uh, so I, I thought no way better than to start uh, these Practice Experts profiles with than, than Robin, because she's, she's in really in a unique position. Uh, because she's recruiting across dis disciplines. First of all, um, her company only focuses on holistic healthcare, uh, which is kind of the label that we put on functional and integrative and lifestyle medicine. We don't want to keep saying all those three words every time. Um, but uh, so the, that's the, her only focus. So she's working across those disciplines. She's working across practices all over the country. Uh, she's on the phone literally every day uh, with healthcare practitioners of, of every stripe. So people that have been 20 years in conventional medicine and they've uh, kind of seen the light and they want to come over, uh, they're in some form of, of migrating over to holistic healthcare or it could be a freshly minted chiropractor or it could be a nurse practitioner or health coach. I mean, she's literally talking to all of them. So she's really got a unique kind of ability to see the forest uh, as well as the individual trees. And, and uh, so, uh, so I asked her to, to join us today 
uh, and and help us kind of have some some of her perspective on these these fields and these disciplines. So, so Robin, thanks so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me, and thanks for that nice introduction. And you know, Rich, I think your curiosity more than anything has brought you down this path of what you fully understand in personalized medicine and holistic healthcare more than anything. So I just provided the, I guess the the switch to for you to turn it on. So you've done a great job with your learning and look, gosh, look at how far we've come. <laughs> so, so talk to us a little bit. So what's, um, talk to us about your journey. Uh, how did you get here? And, uh, and, and what kind of drove you in this direction? Hold on, I, somehow you got muted, hold on. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Sorry about that. No, no worries. It's okay. Now, I think that the journey into holistic healthcare, my journey anyway, is not unlike anyone else's that, you, that I speak to every day. It's always our own problem, right? So, you know, when I was in my probably my late 40s, uh, I started noticing some changes in my health. I couldn't. You know, unexplained weight gain, um, you know, and then realized, gosh, I'm going into menopause. <laughs> We've got some big changes here. And then that coupled with some Hashimoto's hypothyroidism and, you know, lots of other things that were spinning around. Um, I didn't know what was happening. And certainly um, after speaking with um, some healthcare providers in functional medicine realized that definitely things that were happening because the medications weren't working. So my journey into it was really no different than anyone else's that, that found their way here. It was my own uh, health and healing and wellness. And, um, you know, it's been, uh, it's been quite a, uh, an awesome experience. You know, now I see how nutrition has played such a significant uh, role in whether I feel good or don't feel good. And you know, that, a lot of other decisions that so that that's really you know how this whole thing happened and then I started um, I recruited for a uh, functional medicine uh, center in St. Louis and I never looked back I mean this is really where I see healthcare going and the only place that we experience real healing and real wellness. And uh, as you mentioned earlier, Rich, that functional integrative and lifestyle medicine is really the only track that we're running on in, in, in this healthcare journey. So talk about, if you could, if you would about mind-body talent. Um, so you're going to have to flip on and off your mute because it's cross. You can, you're, you're cross feeding into each other's microphones. Okay. Sorry about that. Let me mute Robin for a second. Cool. Uh, is that better? So, um, so talk to us about this company. Uh, why did you found it? What, now, what does the company do in general? I don't. I talked about that a little bit, um, so I'm not asking you to repeat. But then, but then, walk us through a day. What's your, what's your kind of typical day look like, and and uh, how are you impacting these folks? Okay. So, Mind Body Talent, uh, we look yeah. at top talent of physicians and mid levels, ancillary providers in practices that deliver functional, integrative, and lifestyle medicine. We created Mind Body Talent really to serve as a resource for both candidates and practices that are seeking uh, recruitment and placement services, whether we're looking at mentoring and collaboration or um, optimizing their practices, those are the things that you do, Rich, and then obviously assisting and creating, promoting a personal brand for them or wellness branding and marketing um, for the, the practices themselves. So I work alongside a team of recruiters that, uh, you know, first and foremost, we have to fully understand the needs of our clients and then be able to 
match them with candidates that you know they have for their open positions. Um, we source, we select, we conduct the first interviews, um, and being able to um, fit those profiles in 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 whatever um, practices, you know, whatever the, the needs are of the practice. We created this rubric, this functional medicine rubric that um, that I know that we, you know we all contributed to, Rich, but you you know you did a, a, a the lion's share of the work on that with you know creating a template to really understand what is functional medicine. And if you were to ask a hundred people, you know what is holistic healthcare or what is functional or integrative medicine, you're going to get a hundred different answers. And our team utilizes that when we're working with clients to really understand you know, what exactly the, the, the profile of the provider that they're looking for. Um, you know, just as there are many definitions of what holistic healthcare is, um, I, I see clients that have very different um, practices that they're running offering functional medicine. So uh, that can change as, um, as much as the profile of the candidates. So that rubric really helps us as a team identify the type of candidate that we're looking for to best match them up with that, uh, that, with that practice. Um, we maintain really close contact with the candidates during that recruitment process, facilitating and scheduling all the follow-up meetings, um, any negotiations right up to um, the contract offer. And acceptance, um, we've got an extremely high placement rate and very happy clients, thankfully. <laughs> well, thanks. Let's um, let me, let me, let me just hear Mike. Um, there you go. Um, I'm still hearing feedback. I don't know if you are you hearing that. I'm hearing that. Yeah. Is that better? Let me try Is that better? Does that work? Okay, good. I think we got through some of the feedback with that. Clearly, I have to figure out some of our technical components of this stuff. But, um, uh, so, you know, we talked earlier about the unique perspective that you got that you're looking at, uh, you know, across these, uh, these various disciplines and different and, and various practices. Are you seeing, um, are you seeing shifts in the trends? Are you seeing the practices thinking differently uh, about how they, how they're structured or the kinds of people that they're looking for? Or, um, you know, how have you had to kind of migrate along with your thinking as you're working with practices across the country? Um, any perspective you can get on the on the kind of challenges that you're facing and then that they're facing in this environment? Hold on, I've got to unmute your mic, sorry. So sure. Now, you know, we talk to practices and providers every day um, and then to, to really fully understand what their challenges are. And, you know, not surprising, the practices have moved away from, you know, an insurance model to membership and cash models. You know, and that, you know, d d during that transition or depending on how that transition goes, you know, they've got to get their patients on board with that new process. And, and that really does give the practices leverage that they need to be able to, you know, run efficiently and run profitably. Um, so we are seeing a lot of that happening. And for some that are not exactly on a membership or a subscription model, uh, really kind of helping them understand the evolution and the process with that and, and the benefits of moving into that model. Um, you know, for, for instance, uh, you know, if you take a look at you, your own personal life, you look at, at, at all of the things that you're paying a subscription or a membership for, and it just makes, it just makes a lot of sense. And it, it brings intrinsic value to the practice. Um, and it certainly helps uh, the patient feel like they've got some skin in the game. You know, they are, they're,